The modern workplace is changing with newer trends emerging on a daily basis. Freelancers are on the rise, more workplaces are embracing remote work, and the face of what human resource is, is changing. I'm here at the Modern Workplace in Africa conference hosted by TechPoint Africa, and I'm here to find out what some of these trends are and how to maximize them. Yeah, I think more people just need to understand that the office is now everywhere. The office used to be 9 to 5. There used to be what you might call gatekeeper processes and people. Uh, but now, really, anybody can decide that they are a freelancer. Social media becomes the platform to announce what you do. But before you can announce that you do something, then you have to have grown the skill or developed the skill. Again, the internet is there, YouTube is there, free courses are there. Uh, following people who are already practicing a particular freelance is there as one of many ways to get started in anything. Maximizing existing ecosystems, communities. At Fuga, for example, we have a community for our users as well, looking to learn or to upskill. So it's basically maximizing what technology has got to offer, following the right people, and latching onto what is really a pool of free resources for anybody to participate in. But I think everyone should consider freelance in some form, because that's where the world is headed. All enabling factors, all factors um, enable a future that is largely individual in nature, and I think there's no reason for anyone to sit out of it. What I would say about harnessing the use of technology, the workplace is changing, and technology is beyond this change. It just makes sense that if technology is changing something, you want to harness technology. Now, sometimes it can be vague, but some of the things that technology has helped to do would be managing a remote workforce. You really cannot manage a remote workforce without technology. You want to effect so much of collaboration because now people are working from different parts of the world, different parts of uh, maybe the country, but you still want them to, to get connected. There is the Slack, there are a lot of tools that we have available now that you can leverage, that everyone sort of still feel connected. And concerning um, technology and maybe you're talking about well-being, um, mental health, um, I would say that in as much as technology is good, technology is like the enabler, the catalyst. It really cannot replace um, the place of people themselves. Like, you want to have an open culture, technology will not do that for you. What technology will do is work on all of these things, the structures and systems that you have put in place, and just help you make things more effective. One of the major ones would be um, childcare in the workplace, and that's on-site childcare. And um, this is with a bias to the increasing number of women in the workforce, in paid employment workforce. I, I think um, that is usually a deal breaker for um, most uh, moms or women who are intending to get married and raise a family. That's a major consideration for them. You know, um, once they have you know, um, a policy that supports them, you know, in the area of childcare. It, it, it helps, you know, raising a family and climbing up the ladder in a career a whole lot easier. It makes the balancing, you know, a whole less challenging to have that kind of support. It makes a huge difference. There you have it. With the advent of technology and more events like this, the workplace is definitely seeing a new turnaround and more people are embracing this.